Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 10th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all for joining me today. Thanks again for watching and subscribing to Morning Dew. As we look at the Pacific Disaster Center, across the eastern side of our continent, Canada, eastern Canada experiencing winter storms, also parts of Michigan, Ohio, winter storms, Nebraska as well. And then on the west coast, we've got those three devastating and major fires in California, evacuating almost 300,000 people from the Paradise Bay campfire. And also we've got the Wolseley fire as well. And a new one just west of Las Vegas. So please stay aware and prepared. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who has possibly lost their life or even suffered from these devastating fires. Extreme cold in Kazakhstan. Videos reports coming out of Kuwait. Major flooding as well as a couple inches of snow falling in Kuwait. So pretty crazy stuff here. Stay aware and prepared. Our world is a very busy place right now. Now this APNS location, this kind of just popped up out of nowhere on my Pacific disaster map. I'm gonna have to look more into exactly what this is all about. But it seems to be right along the equator line I've never seen this before on my map, so this is new to me. I'm not sure what's going on here. We'll have to look more into that. But let's look at the most updated disasters from around the world. Tropical Cyclone Bushra in the Indian Ocean and also Tropical Cyclone 7 as well in the Indian Ocean. One south of the equator and one north of the equator. Also Tropical Cyclone Al-Qaeda heading towards Madagascar large 6.2 earthquake last night and all of these volcanoes all becoming active in the past three hours volcanoes all over the world and here we are a five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth and Meteo Mike overlooking North America very cold and blue all across the continent Cold temperatures reaching as far south as Arkansas. Temperatures lifted up a little bit here in Alberta due to a Chinook yesterday. Eastern side of the United States and Canada getting hammered week after week, nor'easter after nor'easter. Watching that long line of moisture stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic provinces in Canada. So stay aware and prepared because this will be a mixed bag of precipitation for the Atlantic provinces. Large high pressure ridge coming from the north, definitely cooling things off across Canada. Not much is changing, but it's still pretty dry. We haven't received any snow, nor will we no major snowfall amounts anyway. Flurries here and there over the next few days. But things warming up as the next low pressure system will be coming in from the BC coast. Ahead of the front will be warm, but watch for behind. Things really start to cool off. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, still the reoccurring low pressure system in the Alaskan Aleutian Islands. Also, over Russia, watching this large winter snowstorm hammering northern parts of Russia. As well as very cold temperatures stretching down to, I said there, extreme cold warning in Kazakhstan. So you can see here in the Indian Ocean, the one cyclone north and another cyclone south of the equator. 
Over the next few days, watch for the north one to head west and the south one to head east. Also watching South America for an extreme weather event over the next few days. Watch for large hailstorms, extreme winds and torrential downpours throughout these regions, Buenos Aires, Argentina, as that large low pressure system heads over the mountains. Overlooking Europe, cold high pressure ridge coming from Russia, cooling things right off United Kingdom to Ireland, and still large low pressure system. Um, Sorry, in the Atlantic Ocean, heading east. Let's go for earthquakes. The last 24 hours for earthquakes. It has been very busy, guys, as far as you, as most of you know. Sorry, um, I went live last night overnight because there was a large 6.2 in Fiji. And most recently, the 5.0. Very deep, 560 kilometer depth in the Tonga region. These are all the last 24 hours, guys. Stay aware and prepared. 5.7 in Papua New Guinea. Five point one in Indonesia. Five point two in India. Late last night as well. Four point six in Yemen today. Aftershock still going off in Greece. And another 5.2 Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We're going to get more into that Mid-Atlantic Ridge event here shortly. Looking around the world. Chile popping off today. West Chile rise. Here we are, the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. A lot of very deep earthquakes recently. Tonga region, as well as Indonesia, and South America. Around the world we go. And as I said, we've had a dramatic increase in 4.0 and greater earthquakes over the past little while. And two weeks ago, I put out a warning until November 20th as Venus and Mars were doing a retrograde between our planet and the Sun so stay aware and prepared because these earthquakes are going to keep happening and expect a big one very soon as I'm watching everything reverberate back and forth and triangulate towards the quiet regions the quiet regions are here, North America, South America, so on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge we had that large 6.8 earthquake yesterday, or sorry two days ago in the middle of the Barren Strait, but before that we had Drake Passage, uh, South Atlantic Rise, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and then it just moves straight north. A couple minor rumbles here, one in Quebec, another one in New York City. Very small though, but definitely recorded earthquake. I want to thank you all for watching today and subscribing to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun. God bless you all, and have a great day. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.
Thank you.